you beat Liverpool two to one. You beat the shit out of Manchester City two nothing. And then on a Tuesday, against a relegation battling Aston Villa, you lose one nil. That is the most Arsenal shit. <laughs> I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you keep watching the squad and having some level of hope and then they shit on it, as you'd expect. And then you're left with the line, I don't know what I expected. Really don't. Especially when early on, Arsenal didn't play all that well. They played really lackluster football. Up until the first, you know, water and orange slice break. And you got on the other side, El Mohamedy with a hamstring injury, playing for about a dozen or so minutes, finally getting replaced after the water break. And you feel as though Aston Villa has more focus and more oomph behind this match. And they get the first goal. The only goal, by the way, by Trezeguet in the 27th minute, off a set piece where uh, Cedric just looked fucking lost. And of course, alongside him, you got David Luiz, who I don't really fucking get the deal with David Luiz right now. You'll have one or two amazing games and all of a sudden he just prolapses back into just a blob of mediocrity. And so Arsenal being down 1-0, I thought, you motherfuckers deserve this shit. You motherfuckers have been playing lazy all fucking game. And throughout the rest of the first half, it was kind of a similar story where... Everything just kind of petered out, you know, especially in the third uh, on, on offense. You know, Aubameyang, uh, Lacazette trying to do whatever they can. But Enketia really the only one making a significant impact during the entire match. And you move on into the second half and you're generating chances, but nothing is sticking. And it's just an all-around messy affair. And you begin to wonder, Arsenal looks like they're panicking. Be and and is it because they've been taking an easy street after those two games? I mean, that, that's what you really wonder. I mean, Mikel Arteta brings on Pepe, brings on Tierney, brings out the top guys. Still can't muster anything. Still can't fucking pull up shit. And again, I'm not going to be mad at the result in terms of you know, Aston Villa getting the better of us. They played well. They fucking... Soaked up all the goddamn pressure in those last 30 or so minutes. Aston Villa played really impressively. And this is the first time I can actually say that as an Arsenal fan watching since 2014. That Aston Villa played really well for once against Arsenal. And here's, <laughs> here's some key fucking stats or facts of this fucking game that not a lot of people know. And again, uh, fact check me if I'm wrong. Because as always, I mean... You can never be per you know, too perfect, so double check, double check, double check. But here's the thing. Aston Villa hasn't beaten Arsenal on their home ground in 22 fucking years. So, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the fucking, once the fucking clock runs out, you're just saying, wow, these motherfuckers really beat themselves. And you're talking about Arsenal. Arsenal fucking beat themselves. And, yeah, as much as I have berated Aston Villa for years on end... They played really fucking well today. I'm not going to fucking hate on that shit. Because god damn it, man. If Arsenal put a little fucking effort, maybe, maybe they could have mustered a draw. But no, no, none of that shit. Nope. Just out the window. Let's just settle with mediocrity. Hey, we're going to fucking finish 8th or 10th at worst. Our lowest finish since 1995. And it happens because you motherfuckers stopped giving a shit since the fucking kickoff. Oh, we're going to kneel, fish up, yeah! But you didn't give a shit about the fucking match. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Lose to a relegation battling Aston Villa after beating Liverpool and Manchester City because, of course, you're fucking Arsenal. Holy fucking Christ. There's only one way into Europe if you motherfuckers really actually want that shit. It's called the FA Cup Final. We're not going to have St. Tottenham's Day again, which is extremely disappointing because the North London Derby 
and the Aston Villa match today are the two matches we're going to look back at and think, you know, if we at least got a point there, maybe St. Totteringham State comes back. But no, no, another year, another year where we don't have St. Totteringham State. Holy hell. What a fucking bummer. But yeah, we do have one more match in the Premier League on Sunday against Watford. And Watford is also a relegation battling team. Don't be fucking surprised if Arsenal starts leading it like 2 nothing, And then draw at the end and Watford make a miraculous fucking jump out of the relegation zone. Or whatever fucking narrative that needs to follow on the day. Because yeah, of course that's going to happen. <laughs> of course that's going to fucking happen. Because it's Arsenal. Because it's fucking Arsenal. Oh, you motherfuckers. Whenever I expect shit from these guys, they never deliver. So, thanks for that. Thanks for that, assholes. But yeah, go ahead and follow me at the Sky Lounge on all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Come on, you gunners. You fucking pricks. Ah, oh, the banter season continues. No, fuck.